Okay, Will Scully is looking good for both of them. All right, here we are, Luke and Woody. So I just dropped a message to Ed, see whether he can uh, play Luke after this, uh, Woody after this, but he's not here, so we are here. A bit of lag. But uh, I don't know how we can solve this because Luke can't use up the Asia. Uh, a little bit. Right, but maybe like it's really bad. Sorry. Okay. okay, good. Both saying okay, and off we go. So uh, Eddie's not gonna play after this uh, because he's having some. He's having dinner soon. All right, Woody against Luke here. Woody bottom right, Luke top left. It's a good good day for me to take uh, to take off from work. <laughs> uh, if uh, hopefully more people was on, but thankfully I just remember that Woody usually plays game in the morning. So so we are having some a bit of lag spikes here because Luke isn't able to use the FC Asia tunnel. But this is not that bad, just a little bit jitterish. Uh, everything else is pretty okay. So both players are going for their back ref so far. But if we're if the trend is correct here, Luke, uh, sorry, Woody will go heavy minus right to start, and then he will play more for the mid and late game. Actually, now that I think of it, I've rarely ever seen Woody sort of push forward aggressively uh, right at the start of the game here. He's always been. Pretty slow and going to play for mid and late game. Which is why uh, he's often really really good at handling his eco down in late game because he got so many minus right the right start and all he needs to do is micro them instead of making any of them and he can just keep up the production with the rhinos. So all he Oh boy Luke losing one miner there. X so yeah, if um, if you if Woody can just defend right at the start there, he's pretty solid for the rest of the game here. The second drone from Luke does go into that miner, but Luke losing one miner that's absolutely detrimental for him. And he goes for another drone, a third one, in fact. So three, four, five, six now for Luke, and Woody's on four, five, six, seven, eight now for Luke. So twice as many miners. Here for Luke and he's already switching up to Rhinos. And then comes Woody. Woody definitely knows he has the advantage here, so he might just push up. Two, three wars now for each. Luke is gonna have to spam refs there in a, in, in a while. Because his eco is not going to be able to keep up. He's constantly he's hitting zero one one or twice here. Not that bad. But we'll see here. Got fourth war up. Four Woody. He's again making a play towards mid here. We saw when he uh, we saw this build when he was playing against Quas, where he went for middle from that uh, from that build instead of moving his MCV. He hit a lag. We will go through on with this. There you go, Luke makes a miner from the war factory to keep up, but it's not the best idea here. Woody's gonna push through, he's absolutely just chasing. Luke down, Luke hiding behind that power plant. Sentry guns are coming out here, is Woody gonna overcommit here? I don't think he's going to, because look at the amount of fodder that he has. That miner droning right at the start there, Luke is really paying for it now, and down he goes. Miners are going down, rhinos are going down, the war factory gets sold. And look at this build from Woody here, absolutely amazing. And there you go, 1 0. Alright, AVA from Woody here, let's see. Unfortunately, not on a traditional AVA map, but we are gonna see some AVA from the best play in the world currently. Let's see how this goes. Luke definitely trying a different strat here. So this is one of the rare opportunities that Luke has to take a game from Woody on Allied. Luke again can play, he can play both Allied and Soviet. 
So is Woody, but Woody's Sove is definitely a lot better than his allied. Absolutely some AVA action there here, Audi, specifically just for you, courtesy of Luke Z. So we'll see here whether they'll offer the naval yard or for the AFC first. So Woody goes to AFC, Luke goes to AFC as well. Okay, we've seen this against uh, Ed and and then um mm, forgot who his name was i forgot who played yesterday but there was another ava on depth charge as well. i think it was ed and tim actually playing uh, ava here on depth charge obviously depth charge really good map against tim uh for tim and definitely don't want to play ava against tim here the rockies out to scout from both players there's a clear commitment here from luke for the rockies so is Woody as well. So both committing to Rocketeers here. Right to start. Woody does have the high number of Rockies there. Rocketeer fights are kinda kinda hard to predict because if you're the one going into a Rocky fight against stationary Rocketeers, it's not a good look for you unless you have more Rockies. So it's all dependent on that. Luke on three minus now, Woody is on Three, he is making a couple IVs. And Woody's on two minus, sorry. Luke is on three. Oh, excuse me. And Woody again losing the yet. Uh, Luke is using, losing yet another Rocky fight. And the helicopters. The Nighthawks are here for Woody down in mid to cap one oil. He's going to put the barracks off of that probably. Power drop from Woody goes down in top left. And he can push in with the Rockies as well gonna target a refinery there Luke is gonna have to pull back his Rockies and the dog can deal with the rest of the power drop and the power drop from Luke is on bottom right he's not paying attention he could have taken out the refinery by now or that AFC and then Luke again pushing in here down towards the oil in mid he's gonna try and position his Rockies here Woody does not have a good Rocketeer position but he's gonna lose anyway because he's the one pushing into a lesser number of Rocketeers Woody going around the other side here to get the other set of oils there. The rocket here does take it down. And the Aegis Cruiser is available now for Luke. Patriot Mister right in the middle. That's going to cover a lot of the ground there. But Luke is going to get rid of the other engineer. No, he did not. It's not in time. And now Woody with his own naval yard here. And Luke going to contest for mid. Not sure how good or how effective that will be though. Power drop top left against Luke. And the destroyers are coming out for Luke here. And then a power drop bottom right. Woody goes for the other oil here and he goes for a lab tech immediately. So Woody with all six oils, seventh uh, with the one back in his base. And Dolphins are going to be spamming out here for Woody with that lab out. Luke going with a lab again. The Rocketeer down along the top here is going to get that oil from Luke. The Patriot Missile comes up just in time. That Barret goes down. The War Factory is going to go down as well. Luke managing to snipe it. And the transport around the back here is going to go for that oil. But Luke good micro there to get rid of the Dolphins and then pull away that injured... Uh, destroyer is there. The oil is going to go down here for Woody. Woody loses an oil here. Luke is going to capture it. So Luke out microing Woody there. That's impressive to say the least. More rocketers coming out from Luke here down on top left to deal with the power drop. And another power drop coming into his mid. And Woody has a Corona Sphere. So Woody rebuilds a war factory. He had to bury his down in mid. He did lose an oil down the right side though. But Luke's eco is not doing good here. Not paying attention to that power drop down on top mid. And Woody can now counter with his own naval yard. With the elite dolphin as well. He's going to try and take out that oil on the left. No uh, Aegis Cruisers available for Woody. So he's going to have free reign over these destroyers. But on the back of this, Luke is looking to transport uh, eight Grizzlies over down to his mid. Woody does see it, and he builds the naval yard down by Luke's a base here. Aircraft carriers is gonna come up for it. Aegis cruises first to deal with the Rocketeers. And Woody 
is gonna be met here with eight. Oh, but the dolphin took it away. Oh dear, so he only managed to transport two grizzlies and a GI. And GG, that's 2-0 there for Luke. For Woody, sorry. Oh my god. Those dolphins and Woody predicted them to a T. BVS, let's go. So we're gonna see a, a, a viewing of Woody's ally here. We saw Woody play against Marco and then AVS as well during that series that just went up on YouTube where Woody went allied for quite a bit until which gave Marco some games but Woody's gonna start uh, down to its bottom right and Luke is gonna start bottom uh, top left so away from each other but it all depends on mid here it's not pre-captured so you will probably build one or two minus from your war factory But the uh, favor is definitely towards Woody here in terms of eco. Your Chrono Miners, especially on this map, is really, really useful. And Luke is going to have the disability of um, having to move Miners from one patch to another. So Woody a little bit late to capturing middle there. I think his engineers are further behind and Luke's at the moment. Yeah, Luke is already getting on mid-island Woody is slightly behind. But their first war factory should be going up by the refinery back in base. <clears throat> and Luke opts for the naval yard for a... for a... Uh, to capture the top and bottom islands here. Woody already going for a war factory instead, so... Luke is going to be first to cap his oils. When was the last time Woody lost a round? Uh, against Marco, when he played against Marco. Not in TOC, obviously. Oh, are both of them going to go for the top points at the same time? They are. Woody's going to contest that, I think. And the flag and already available here for... Luke, it's all going to go down to the top oil here. Do they recognize that both of them are going to fight for it? Woody sees it. Sentry gun already up here for oh no that's that sentry gun. Oh and Luke does get the middle here, but Woody builds a rack of that oil. Luke needs a sentry gun here. Oh it's gonna build forward this sentry gun from Luke. That's a got engineer. And they're both gonna fight for it here. Down along the top. Woody does take care of it. Get that uh paradrop anyway. And he's gonna cap the other oil so far, but uh, Luke is gonna push up here down in mid uh I'm not sure where, why Woody made a bunch of IVs, but he did. And it looks like uh, Luke is going to capture that oil as well. Uh, oh, I thought he was going to kill it. So Woody recaptures everything down along the top. But he's getting hit a lot here down in mid. A lot of rhinos coming in here. And Luke is going to capture that oil as well down in mid. And IVs are the response here apparently from Woody. Lots of rhinos here available for uh, Luke, so he's gonna be able to push back. But I think Woody wants to get some damage off with this IVs here. He did capture down bottom as well. Luke tried to contest it, but it didn't work out for him. And these IVs are gonna go around the world here. Gonna probably snipe a couple of war factories there while uh, Luke does snipe a couple of oils from Woody. Not sure about Woody's plan here. Might this be the first game that Luke, oh, that Woody loses a game? We'll wait and see here. Four IVs, uh, five IVs are being chased down here. Luke should prime that backwards war factory. Grizzlies are available. Where is that flag? Of, uh, I don't think there's anything in that flag. It's just for pure scout here. And Luke has to be careful. Obviously, he hasn't scouted down to his bottom right. So he doesn't see the amount of grizzlies that Woody has. And Tanya is up there here. He did build a lab down bottom and a lot of rocketeers available as well. Those IVs there didn't manage to snipe anything. Uh, it is right still there. Woody's gonna bet with a lot of drones here. For those IVs. Gonna get some flak out here. Uh, Luke. Woody's gonna destroy that cliff. Uh, that bridge, sorry. And that oil. And dolphins are being spammed out at the ready here. So the Tanya's gonna probably destroy some buildings. And the double paradox coming in down on top left where that lab is. Dogs are gonna take care of it. Probably some sentry guns as well. And now the rockets are coming towards top left here. A lot of dolphins are still coming out here for Woody. 
And the drones are gonna be able to take care of that IV without it getting sniped. There's no flag down on top left here. The lab is definitely gonna go down. Luke's flag is all the way on the other side of the map here. War Factory goes down, so no flags are gonna come out here. He's gonna need some flag cannons, but he's a low power, so flag troopers will do as well. Woody's still sitting pretty with a lot of grizzlies down back in his own base. But Luke absolutely getting destroyed here back in the home base. Radar, War Factory, power, and Barrett's going down. So that's going to slow him down a lot here. Woody going to run over those flat cannons. And that Tanya is still available. Uh, it destroyed both of their bases. I think Woody might go for a Chronosphere here. You know what? I think Woody's, I think, uh, uh, Woody's doing a Mila right now. Oh, bad movement out of, uh, out of Luke there. I definitely think Woody's gonna uh, go Mueller tactic here. He's gonna go Chronosphere and Chrono the units in while he destroys both of the bridges here. So he's gonna plant uh, Tynas at both ends of the bridges. And he's gonna wait for that Chronosphere or uh, harass with the aircraft carriers as well. Obviously he's broke, so all Luke needs to do here is wait him out and deal with this naval yard. Obviously if uh woody did spam a bunch on naval a uh, bunch of dolphins and so luke are, uh, is not able to get a naval yard down in this water so he needs to spam out a bunch of uh flat cannons here while woody is gonna snipe a couple oils as well from luke out comes the chronosphere uh oh lag coming through here Luke absolutely needs to deal with these uh, aircraft carriers and rocketeers and he should be good. And just deal with the chronospheres whenever they come. So he needs to get a, a lot of desos near wherever his buildings are. He needs to get some rhinos wherever they are as well. So I see well placed there right in the middle. Luke will probably have to rebuild a lot of his stuff here back in the middle as well. There are the dolphins. So Luke hoping to take out the dolphins with the Deso and then uh, break the bridge and then where he can send a bunch of squids over and subs as well. It should, uh, Luke should probably micro as well and probably contest one of these oil islands as well. So operate fire out for Woody, that's gonna help with Zico as well. 7k towards zero. I keep saying as well so many times here. <laughs> it's, a, it's a speech habit that I'm not proud of. Luke as well, not as well again. Luke again, not microing his miners. So, miners from the main island is going to go back to home base. Luke should FF, do you mean GG? Or is that, uh, does FF mean something else? So, even more time has been spammed out. Obviously, IC is not going to work for Luke, right? You know, Woody for Weather Storm as well. So many Tanyas! What? forfeit right <laughs> so the IC is obviously not going to help for Luke because if he does repair the bridge and the IC units uh, gets destroyed, IC units uh, go over the bridge if Atania kills the bridge, the IC units are going to go into the water regardless so he's definitely doing a Mueller slash Geno here, out comes that Chronosphere backed by the MCV which is the primary target here Luke Chronos, sorry uh, IG, IC is that MCV is it gonna make it out though? There you go, there's the GG. This is too hard, says Luke. <laughs> and that is 3-0 for Woody. After eight minutes, uh, Luke definitely held on for the longest here and put up a fight, but unfortunately Woody way too strong. It is.